as a WordPress developer, we generally tend to do a lot of manual things while testing our plugin or a theme or a product which we are developing for the WordPress ecosystem. Uh, when you do these uh, testing, you typically launch a new WordPress site, upload your plugin or take a git pull on your server and then do the testing. With InstaWP, we aim to solve this and automate it in a really easy way. To get started, first of all, create a new website. So once your site is created, all you need to do is log into the site and add some demo content. So whenever you want to test your own uh, WordPress plugin or a theme or a product, you basically uh, need some demo content, right? So you just go ahead and add some post, add some categories, add some pages. Let me add a new page for the purpose of this demo. And let me do some settings, maybe activate the permalinks. All right, now um, I'm going to upload a plugin. So let me remove the default ones. And my plugin is already hosted on GitHub. So this is the sample plugin I'm going to test today. And this plugin is nothing but a simple plugin.php file with just a boilerplate. So what I'm going to do is download this as a zip file. Go back to my WordPress instance, click on add new, upload plugin, and then upload this plugin. All right, so let me install it, activate it. So we are all set. So plugin is installed and activated. Um, at this point, take a note of what is the folder where you've installed this will be useful in in upcoming steps so just hover over the deactivate button uh, in the bottom pane you will see that the plugin equals to sample plugin sample dash plugin dash main and just remember this path and this will come in handy in in a couple of seconds now since now we are all set assuming we are all set i'm closing this window and going back to my insta wp dashboard at this point, uh, I'm going to give a quick refresh to the dashboard so that uh, I get all the list of the sites. And now I'm going to click on save as template. So what is a template basically? So temp a site is a running instance of your website on our server, but a template is a snapshot of files and database uh, within that server. So you can create more sites uh, from that template and now you will see where I'm going with this in a moment. So I'm going to name my template as git demo instead of p, and I'm not going to enable anything else. This, this is all what is required for this demo. So click on save, close, go to the templates tab. You will see uh, the template is now ready. Uh, at this point, uh, we will configure the GitHub uh, repository into InstaWP. To do that, go to the deployments tab, click on add new. You will see two options here. One is for a public repo or a private repo. For Since this repo is going to be a public repo, I am going to choose that option. But if you have a private repo, choose that option. Uh, paste the SSH link, uh, not the HTTPS link. Uh, connect the branch, destination folder. I'll come, to, I'll come back to these in a moment and then generate a key pair, uh, which you will you can copy to your uh, repository. Now go back to the public option. I'm going to copy the HTTPS link, copy it, paste it in the repo URL field. Uh, check which branch you want to deploy. In this case, the branch is main. And now, if you remember, I told you to uh, memorize the plugin uh, folder. So here you can say WP content plugins sample plugin main. 
what will happen is every time you create a new instance off of your template your github repo will be pulled and it will be uh, this folder will be replaced uh, with, with the contents of your live github code okay so let me show you how that works so let, let's add it so you will see that uh, the repo has been added and this is a public repo go back to the templates tab click on this git icon you will see a model box here choose the repository you want to connect it to and then click on update all right now we are all set all you need to do is create a new site based off of this template right now to see any changes we have made to our code go back to the code base let's edit the plugin.php file and let's let's say increase the version to 1.0.1 okay and I'm, I'm going to commit directly to the main branch. However, in general, you will create a new branch and create a new PR. And there is an integration for that too. So I will show that in a moment. So commit the changes. You will see the main branch is now reflecting 101. And I'm on the main branch. Let us create a new site. Here, the site installation is going to uh, take two to three seconds. The reason is uh, this template is not an instant template. So instant template is a paid feature wherein uh, your site will be created instantly uh, based off of your template. Uh, since this is a free account, I am demoing in a free account. Uh, you don't have that option. Uh, but even then, the site takes uh, barely two seconds. So let's get that uh, going. Click on access now so that you directly log into the back uh, word, uh, wordpress admin panel go to the plugins uh, tab and you will see the new version which is now being deployed so this completes part one of the demo so we have created a site and then a template connected our github account then connected that template to the github uh, repository and then created a new site which basically automatically pulls your latest code into uh, into the running site so it's it's that easy on how to connect a github uh, repo so the next section is going to be a little bit advanced here we are going to use github actions so go back to your git settings copy the yaml file go back to your repo go back to the root folder here create a new file Name the folder as dot github slash workflows and this is how it should be this is kind of a mandatory from uh, github and then you can name the file anything you want so in this case i can i'm going to rename it as wp dot yaml and simply paste the content which we just copied right so it's, it's that easy here there are a couple of things you need to take care of right so in order to connect github to instead wp you need to copy your API key. I will show that in a moment. Now go ahead and commit this file. And go to settings. Go to secrets. Actions. New repository secret. Name it InstaWP token. And then go back to your InstaWP account. Update it. Go back to your InstaWP account. And go to the API tokens. And then create a new token. So let's say GitHub demo token and provide all the permissions for creating a site deleting a site reading a site and updating a site so these all we all these options are required uh, for even advanced integration wherein if a pr is merged then the site will automatically get deleted so let's go ahead and create it you get the api key copy it go back paste it add secret you are all set now go to the plugin.php file again and I'm going to edit it again and increase the version. Uh, without doing any major changes, we are updating the version. So yeah, never mind. Uh, now I'm going to create a new branch in this time. Uh, the reason is we want to see the PR in action, the GitHub actions in action. So let's propose a new change. 
and let's create this pull request. So with, within few seconds, your GitHub action will automatically run and it will create a new website uh, at instead of loopy and automatically pull the latest code and give you the URL right inside the PR. So, so you can see that this is deployed now. So let's go to this site. This site is working as well. So you can see the sample page is there. You have the magic login also. Open it in a new tab. So we are going to log, get logged in into the new panel and go to the plugins tab. Here we have the new version. So even before merging the PR, we have uh, the new uh, version ready to test. So your team can do all the testing and then merge the PR or decline the PR based upon the outcome. So hopefully this will make your development process easier uh, by automating the testing part. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to our support. Uh, 